Hey guys, Sean B and today we are talking about the best rune crafting event that we have ever had in Summoner's War. I'll be going through the set, the stats and different perspective for the rune crafting event. You'll be crafting two legendary rune which is really, really insane. Because even if you farm a lot, you don't see your perfect legendary rune every day or every month or even once every three months. So being able to craft two almost perfect rune is really really crazy so what are you looking for the three main set you are looking for will be violent will and swift violent being the most versatile rune set in the game can be used on majority of support and damage dealer will because in endgame pvp a lot of times you will not be able to take turn one and the wheel rune protect you from being completely destroyed. Also, there's another way to look at wheel rune that I will discuss later on. Swift rune is actually viable to be crafted in this event. In the past, nobody really mentioned swift rune, but because in this event, you get to power up the runes before you get it. And you can even change the power up stats. So for swift rune, what you really want to get out of it is speed. And being able to power up a rune to plus 6, you can potentially get an 18 speed starting rune together with the perfect order stats that you want. So for swift rune, people are crafting quick damage slot 4 and attack or HP slot 6. There are many damage dealers in the meta that would love a good quick damage slot 4 swift rune. Mina, Lucian, Daphnis. If you're using a fast Lucian team in Cleave in RTA, for example, you want your Lucian to be speed tuned with your Bastet, Megan, Tiana, or Draco. And with a very slow damage set, your Lucian will not be able to catch up. And if people come in between, that's not good. Mina and Daphnis usually build very fast because their role is to snipe a unit from the enemy team. So being able to take turn 1 is very important. That's why they are usually built with swift rune, very fast, and a good quick damage slot for with 18 speed or even more will be very very crucial. Right now, if I look at my rune storage, I have been playing this game for very long and a lot of time I will be farming Giants B10. But I have only farmed one valuable crit damage slot 4 that has barely 15 speed so this one is okay and i've been using it on my daphnis so an 18 speed quick damage swift rune will be amazing it will be it might even be game changing for my daphnis it is a very good event to chase speed in your swift rune because you get 18 speed in your rune after you get it if you're looking at violent rune it is the same compared to other event it will be quick damage or hp slot 4 HP or attack slot 6 depending on what you are lacking because some people have a lot of HP but zero quick damage vial rune but for me I have a lot of quick damage vial rune and not a lot of HP slot 6 I have like 2 and that came from the previous event I have never farmed a good proper violent slot 6 HP rune like never so I might be going for a vial HP slot 6 again and why nobody ever mentioned defense because you use HP most of the time due to the fact that there's a defense debuff all the time in every single PvP aspect. So when you equip your unit with defense, usually you lose a lot of value if you get defense broken. So most of the time the recommended build is always speed HP HP or speed good damage HP and trying to get defense from substat unless the unit is particularly scaled with defense. But usually in this kind of event, you want to get a rune that can be used on the most possible unit. So people will choose crit damage or HP. The crit damage rune will work with most damage dealer and even bruiser like Triana or let's say Vela Ju. You know, that unit scale with defense, but the crit damage rune will still work really, really well. Or Diana as a bruiser. So the crit damage rune is very, very versatile. There are some arguments for speed slot 2 because it is even more versatile, especially when you're early game. A speed vial slot 2 with defense, HP, crit rate, attack will be usable on so many, so many different units. 
Lastly, for the end game player, you're probably not watching this anyway. They would go for Will Rune, also quick damage slot 4 or HP slot 6, because Will Rune is really, really good for end game PvP. However, there's also an argument for early game player to get a Will Rune quick damage slot 4. For early game player, after they have done all the possible PV content, they'll be looking into R5 to farm their grindstone. That is where you skyrocket your progression as well as your entire account runes quality. Being able to use even blue grindstone is really, really awesome. And these days, people often skip the normal R5 team and go straight to what we call the Bailey Jensen, the BJR5 team. And if you look at this team, there's only one unit that you have to build properly. And that is the Billiger. You need a good damage set and a wheel set so that the boss will not believe in the Billiger and he will not lose the ability to gain stack. That's very important. So the wheel set is the one that will keep you from getting this team because you want to be farming Necro B10 for the wheel set, but you don't want to be farming Necro B10 as a beginner player. You want to be farming Giants for faster Swift or Dragons for better violence for generic progression. Farming Necro B10 will just hinder your progression a lot and you may not get any good runes even after months and months of farming. And you don't have to be using Rage. You can use Fatal Rune from Giants B10 it may be a bit harder to achieve the damage because Rage Rune is a little bit better, but you can use Fatal Rune from Giants B10 and the Wheel Rune you can craft from the event. That's why you can craft a crit damage slot for Wheel Rune so that that rune will be used on your belly girl, but it can also be used for other PvP purpose if you want to. That's why it's a very versatile slot. Quick damage can be used for damage dealer, bruiser, and your boy Billiger right here for BJR5. If you farm a lot of giants and dragons in the early game, you will gain access to the crafting material for the wheel runes. Here, you may get a decent slot 135, and you want to go for quick damage, you want to go for crit rate, and attack power. Ooh, you see this? This might be a viable rune for your Billiger. Maximum quick damage roll, and then you are good to go with the Fatal set because you farm so much Giants in the early game, you will have access to decent Fatal Rune in all the possible slots. So crafting a quick damage slot for Rune in the event and then crafting a potential 135 from the crafting house building. Crafting house? Crafting building will allow you to have that belly girl much faster. But Sean, you need max tower for the BJR5 team, am I correct? Yes, you are half correct. You need to have good tower because it make up for a huge amount of stats in your team, especially the Belliger to survive and do enough damage. But you can start as early as doing BJR4. You don't have to spend all your energy into R4 because it is not as efficient as R5, but having a BJR4 team first teach you how to build a team, Secondly, give you access to some early blue grindstone. It's, it's not bad. Yeah, doing a couple R4 to get the blue grindstone to get your team ready for R5 is not a bad idea. And even after you craft the crit damage wheel rune, if it's not good enough, like your team is not good enough to do BJR5, then you can still use it on some other damage dealer for your daily PvP guild battle needs on your Raok, on your Crow, on your Lucian, on your Theomas or whatever. A good wheel rune quick damage is really, really versatile. You want to aim for high attack and high speed because there's still a speed requirement for Bailey in BGR5, so getting that 18 speed starting is not a bad idea. But aim to get high attack, high speed, potentially defense and HP substat. You don't need a lot of crit rate for the boy to be working in BGR5, so aim for grindable stats in the crit damage rune and that goes for every single other rune that you want to craft aim for grindable stats percentage to be in the substat so you can grind them to be even better and aim for high starting base stat as well you can go to google the summoner sword base stat rune guide to get the table for the base starting stat and the potential 
maximum additional stats for every single rune for every single stat so that you don't miss out on the one two percent min max because this event is for min maxing you can just re-roll the stat as much as possible as much as you can that's why it's very important to min max every single stat that you get so yeah i don't know what are you crafting you may not even know what you are crafting after watching this video it boils down to what are you lacking and where you are in the game do you need wheel runes even or should you just go with violent for the most generic use or are you chasing that speed for one particular unit that's depend on you i can't tell you that you know yourself maybe so you may not even know yourself but i hope that was helpful thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video leave a comment down below if you have any more questions and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye